so today's video is going to be me talking about my NCS experience. Okay, so I'm going to basically explain everything about NCS and my opinion on it. So, so I went to the Crawley NCS. I don't know if you know where that is. That's fine. Don't worry about it. There was three waves basically, wave one, wave two and wave three. They all do the exact same thing, just a different date. Me and my friend Hannah both decided to sign up together. We both paid £40 for it and we booked wave one. We then went on to realise that wave one clashed with prom and I was like, no way, no way, no way. I want to go to prom. I don't care. I'm not going on that NCS wave. I either want to change or I don't want to go. I did go through a phase of my mum was on the phone basically with the NCS people saying they, she can't go, there's prom, we need to move her. And I just said to my mum, I don't want to go on it, please. I'm very much quite scared of going into a new situation that I don't know about. And I was like, right, that's it. I've made my mind up, I'm not going. I really didn't want to go at that point. But my mum forced me into doing it and she was like, I've already paid the £40, I'm not, get, I'm not gonna get my money back. We're moving you to wave two. So I went to wave two. So this was kind of July time, I think it was. It was like, yeah, it was July to August, the 2nd of August. So the reason I wanted to go on it because I knew that I would just be sitting home getting fat. I was like, I don't wanna sit home eating food, getting bored watching YouTube. So I was like, I need to go and do something. Because as much as you think that you'll go out with your friends, to fill up that gap between August when everyone's off is a fat gap, <laughs> just saying, and you're going to get bored. So it, NCS gave me a reason to get up in the morning and go and do something. So I booked NCS and we were on our way. So week one came and I packed, I didn't know what to pack, I just packed as many jeans, some leggings, shoes and tops. But obviously because it was quite hot, I packed quite a lot of vest tops and stuff like that. So that's a tip. And I just literally ran my phone, no portable charger. Someone told me on wave one that they have chargers. So I was like, great, don't need to bring a portable charger. Guess what? There was no charging units except in the toilets, but they were always used. So I was like, great. We basically got on a ferry and we went to this middle of nowhere basically we were in the middle of nowhere and there was loads of like these little teepee tent things basically and um i was like great what have i got myself into for the next five days um so my friend libby also came along in the end there was three of us and they were like you need to fill up this tent of eight i was like there's three of us we're about to get put in a tent with five other random girls that we have no clue about Luckily, I did know quite some of them in there, but I did make some new people. In our wave, in our like little tent thing, there was a lot of problems, basically, <laughs> um, with sleeping. I can't sleep in the dark, and it was pitch black dark at night. It was horrible. Should have brought a torch. Luckily, Libby gave me her one. Also, we had a girl that had like night terrors or something like that, and was screaming every night. And then the last night, I stayed up because I was like, right, I am not waking up in a scare because this girl's screaming and guess what she didn't even do it but anyway basically you are sleeping on the floor i can't be any like i can't justify that you're literally sleeping on the floor you have like a yoga mat basically and they do give you a duvet and they do give you a pillow the smart thing to do is bring an inflatable bed but not one that you have to plug into a wall um and also don't really bring a suitcase because there's not much room for it really you need to just bring bags because there's no room for a suitcase and also you've got to drag your suitcase up this fat hill like it's like <laughs> hill to get up um that was a nightmare for me because i decided to bring this big suitcase <laughs> first week i personally for me was the best week it was where we done loads of activities so we done like this blindfold challenge where you got blindfolded and then you had to hold each other's shoulders and walk and you got taken on a trail. My favourite day out of all of it was a Wednesday and we basically went to the sea. Everything was sea activities. We went canoeing. When we went canoeing, we went into these rocks and they're like these caves and we're looking at the caves, which was so fun. We then also went um, like, so went coasteering and that was the best activity for me. We went into little caves, we went into like this moon 
thing that like the water was all green and see-through what was really cool had to go in like these little holes if you didn't want to do that if there was something you didn't want to do try and push yourself to do it if you didn't want to do it personally there's another route to get around and stuff like that there's always other things you can do but the whole experience is you pushing yourself that week was all right for me but i know quite a lot of people that push themselves like people couldn't swim in my waves people hated heights but they went and jumped off rocks we had to jump off a cliff basically that was so fun it was the best experience and that's when everyone really came together that day was everyone was just so close in my group so uh, this is my group um best people that i could have get put or put with like i would not have enjoyed my ncs experience if it wasn't for those people personally um i do recommend it because I really didn't take it for granted when I was on NCS, like the first week, because that was the best week for me. After that, it kind of did go a bit downhill, but it was fine. The thing I didn't like was the food. I'm a very fussy eater, and we went on a vegetarian diet, basically. Um, so there was no meat in my diet, and it did mess me up a bit. Um, but there was a shop so you could go buy things. I know my whole wave was trying to find a McDonald's so they could get a delivery maybe, so that because we was on the Isle of Wight. Um, but that didn't happen. But that was the only downfall I have, is the food. I wish the food was a tiny bit better. Um, it was just so fun, like I couldn't wish for a better week. Seeing um, this, I realised how long this video is, so I'm gonna do um, a three part. So this is the first part and then the second part is going to come out soon of week two and then week three and four i'm going to merge together because they're basically the same thing so thank you for watching stay tuned for week two bye everyone